So this time we will talk about the equation of the circle here. So I'm showing them two different circles here. Can you guess the center and the radius of each circle? So when you look at this one, the center is right here, which is origin. So you can say 0, 0. What about the radius? So from the center equals to 2 unit to the right, also left, up, and down. Therefore, we can say center becomes 0, 0, and the radius equal to 2 this case. So this circle, a little bit, little bit bigger one. So same center, which is 0, 0 here. But now, the radius become 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Since from the origin, the right side, the left side, and the up and down, both are 3 units away. So we can say center become 0, 0, and then radius become 3 in this case. Okay. Then how to define the circle or equation of the circle in this case? So, we can rewrite that if the center is origin, which is 0, 0, and then we, have, we know the radius, then the equation of the circle becomes x square plus y square equal to r square okay so that's the general form of the equation of the circle if the center is origin and then we know the radius therefore this circle equation becomes x square plus y square equal to 2 square which means x square plus y square equal to 4. Now this circle case x square plus y square equal to 3 square. So simplify it and x square plus y square becomes 9. That will be the equation for these circles. Okay? Then what if the center is not a reason? Okay, so look at another circle here. So as you see, this circle case, center is not origin anymore. Why? Because origin is right here, right? So in this case, we need to find our center first, and then based on the center, we can measure the radius. So to find the center, I'm going to draw the half horizontal line, and then half of the vertical line. So when I see carefully, uh, this case, maybe this line is half line of the horizontal cutoff, and then this is vertical half uh, way cutting up line here. Then now, the intercept point right here, that's the center. Can you read it for me? Yes, this becomes 2 comma negative 3. So we found center become 2 comma negative 3. Then what can be the radius? So before when the center is origin, how can we analyze the center? I mean the radius. So we measure unit from the center, right? So we do exactly the same step here. So from the center, we can go, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so obviously, radius must be 4, okay? So now, if the um, center was origin, now we know the r equals 4, so equation become x squared plus y squared equal to 4 squared, right? But as you know, the center is not 0 and 0 anymore. 
So we need to know how each x and y value transform from the zero. As you see, x value go to two units to the right, and then y value down three value here. So now we can make x goes to 2 unit to the right, which means minus 2 square, and then y plus 3 square, because down 3, and then equal to 16. That will be the answer equation of the circle, basically. Then you may wonder y minus 2 and y plus 3. I just told you transform two, two unit to the right, which means positive side. But I put negative 2 here, and then down 3, but I put positive 3 here. So that looks very, very weird, right? But because the reason is we want to pursue always going to the center equal to 0 and 0 here, basically. So please make x minus 2 equal to 0. Then you will combine 2 here. Therefore, x can be 2. So whenever x minus 2 equal to 0, then we can find x move to 2 units to the right. Same way, y plus 3 equal to 0, then you subtract 3 here, right? So you can find y transform value, which is minus 3. So based on this fact, now we can generalize the standard equation of the circle if the center is the origin so which is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square okay so in this case center becomes h comma k so like this we just take out so when center was 2 and negative 3, we took the opposite numbers, right? So same thing. So we put x minus h, y minus k, so center become h and k, and then radius r equal to square root r square, basically. Okay? But now, let's actually find the equation of the circle with the center 4, negative 5, and the radius is 6. So, just a moment before, we found the standard form of the circle equation if the center is not origin, which is x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square. So, you can just input 4 into h spot, negative 5 into k spot, and 6 into r spot then you can find the equation of the circle here. So, it become x minus 4 square plus y minus negative 5 square equal to 6 square. Okay? Therefore, this becomes x minus 4 square plus y plus 5 square equal to 36. That is the complete set of the equation of the circle. The next question, so find the center and the radius with the equation of the circle x plus 7 square plus y plus 1 square equal to 8. So before we just talked that uh, this x and y transformed value is always opposite of each this value. So now we can say center is opposite of 7, which is negative 7, and then opposite of neg uh, plus 1, so negative 1, that will be center, and the radius become square root 8. So just simplify 8. A means 4 times 2, so root 4 means 2, so this become 2 root 2. Therefore, center become negative 7 comma negative 1 radius 2 root 2 okay